Hi people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faith, men's personal style consultant and personal shopper based in Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the ultimate guide to finding and owning your style as a man in 2024. So if you're stumbling on this video at any point in time, this is January 2024 and I am excited to be back. I was away for some time, but we are not going into all that. I hate to waste time. I don't like clickbait. So we are going to go straight into today's video. All right. In today's video, what I'm basically going to be sharing with you is a guide that you would always need forever as a man at any point in your style journey, whether you are starting out, whether you are trying to elevate your personal style, whether you are trying to style yourself for an occasion, for an event, to work, or just to chill at home. So this will always come in handy. And I'm I just pin it somewhere on my channel okay like i mentioned before i'm based in nigeria and somehow in this part of the world there's always something that drives the year last year it was the evolution of the gen z's coming out and everybody just you know trying to be a gen z trying to dress like a gen z trying to approach things like a gen z and trying to revolutionize their careers their industries their businesses as gen z's will do because we are now in a fast-paced world and nobody got time for sluggishness so even though i'm millennial and there are some baby boomers everyone had to kind of just incorporate the gen z way of doing things to get faster results more efficient results and tech friendly results this year in nigeria i don't know who came up with this but i have a feeling that this person is also going to be gen z the theme for the year in nigeria somehow the mantra has been no grief for anybody and basically the idea behind that is that never say never don't back down without a fight although there have been skits and clips funny skits funny tweets all around talking about how you're not going to take no for an answer this year you're going to impose this you're going to have your way you're going to stand your ground i for one am that person that will bring a style angle into it so i saw a tweet on twitter on x of course and it was talking about if you really want to avoid something then start by avoiding it we talked to much and do nothing in this part of the world and that is the angle from which i'm bringing the tips that i have for you as a style guide for this year we are no more talking all talk and no action is going to make your style look the same as it has been for the past 10 years so we're going to stop talking and start doing the things that we really want to see in our style number one style guide that i'm going to tell you to catch like a fire in your bones is to only dress for your body let your clothes be clothes that suit your body. I know the fancy name is physique type in men's personal style language, but really it's just about making sure that you are wearing your clothes and not your clothes wearing you. So whether you are working in a white collar job or you are doing something less corporate, make sure that your clothes are fitted to your body and not the other way around. Even if you want to be trendy, you want to be in vogue, make sure that your clothes fit your body. It doesn't matter who gives the rule about how to combine clothes they need to fit your body they need to fit the proportions of your body they need to balance your upper and lower body because for men your outfit building is in two categories you have things that you wear on top and things that you wear beneath and even though you also have jalabias the things that you wear just one piece it has to match your physique type i cannot overemphasize this the second part of this is that make sure you are dressing for your style personality i understand that we are inspired by so many people that do things that are different from us many of you are inspired by footballers you're inspired by musicians you're inspired by actors and you know movie producers and all of that but you have to bear in mind that their industry makes them dress a certain way then the face of the camera at all times they are public figures half the time you are a private person the only public place that you go to is your workplace or if you have to do anything for your business or on behalf of your business so you are not necessarily a public person person public figures have a way they dress that makes them camera ready at all times every angle they must always dress the same way so even when you see them in their casual outfits you see that they are camera ready it doesn't matter that they are going to the grocery store or they are going to the gym or they are working out they are always camera ready so if you want to dress in a way that looks like your hero someone that you adore your idol whatever make sure that you are only getting style inspirations from people that have 
your physique type if you are inspired by someone like the rock for instance you need to ask yourself do i have his body type if he is wearing this particular outfit combination if i throw it on myself will it look the same and if you are thinking okay i don't have the body type but look at the colors of what he is wearing do these colors suit my skin tone so it is very important that even though you are not getting the inspiration for your physique type from this person the colors they are combining together is something that works for you that works for your skin tone that works for your style personality i promised the style personality video and i promise to get it out of the way this year because we have different style personalities some people are more classic some are more creative and those people that are creative they love colors they like to splash colors here and there and they can combine as many accessories as they want some people are urban men their own style is street style all right so you see that most of the time they are dressed down they know how to combine so many things together they are wearing the joggers they are wearing the cargo pants they are wearing sweatshirts they are wearing hoodies they are wearing sneakers so if you are inspired by someone like that but the bigger part of your life is literally in front of a desk is white collar is strict or you are a lawyer there's going to be a clash in your inspiration and that's why you would see that everything you are getting inspiration from is not translating to your own style and then you start getting frustrated because you keep buying these things but you have nowhere to wear them to or they are not coming out the way you have envisioned it in your mind so the first thing is to make sure you are dressing for your physique type the second thing is to make sure that you are only inspired by people that have your physique type and your style personality and your skin tone as well so when you're saving style inspirations make sure it is coming from that angle and you are building your wardrobe in that manner the third thing that we are not going to agree for anybody this year is fake designers last year we saw lots of people buying designer items designer brands wearing labels and you would see people say stuff like a mess affordable luxury it is so and so hundred thousand naira let me tell you something in 2024 you don't have an excuse not to know that a supposed luxury item is fake because information abounds you can literally not get some items just off the rack just walk into the store there are waiting lists for certain luxury items i mean the cost alone when you convert it to naira or wherever you are where you convert it to your currency it is not affordable luxury there's luxury there's high end there's high street i mean there's a wide range of products that you can buy and so buying something that you think is luxury and you're flaunting it only makes you look unexposed for lack of a better word i don't want to say you are illiterate all right so don't be scammed into buying fake luxury items when you are on your style journey i understand that some people desire to be able to wear these brands and these logos for whatever reason it's also a style personality thing to always want to dress in designer brands and labels that are obvious to people that's a star personality on its own and for some people they just genuinely like these brands they like the quality of their products do your research hire a personal shopper that knows our onions all right google these things do the conversion yourself and if you travel walk into a luxury brand store and just find out things on your own so that you are not duped on your style journey so what we are not going to do this year is wear fake labels because honestly when you're starting your style journey i always recommend that you wear items that are not branded in any way people cannot tell what brand it is as long as it is well made it is well tailored it suits your body type it fits your style personality it works for whatever it is that you are wearing it for you are good to go another style guide that i'm going to give every man and it's more like a plea is for you to dress appropriately and i'm talking age appropriateness occasion appropriateness wherever you are going to appropriateness you know weather appropriateness it is currently hot so if you hear any noise in the background i literally have a fan in front of me because i'm sweating like a headless chicken it is so hot okay so you need to dress for the weather in this part of the world it is hot right if you travel somewhere else and it's cold dress for that weather i'm seeing lots of boots and what have you and it's good it's good that we are having this winter jacket thing coming from wherever but you need to dress for the weather because you start looking like a clown when you're not properly dressed the same way with dressing age appropriately dress for your age and i don't mean to be ageist or to you know tackle you if you are well above age but you still want to dress young but there are ways to dress and look young without looking like a teenager okay so 
dress for your body type dress appropriately dress appropriately for the occasion you are attending whether you are attending a wedding ceremony you are attending a dinner party you are attending a naming ceremony a burial a formal event an informal event please dress casual you know even if there's no dress code just understand that this is where you're going to if you are not familiar with that event ask people ask questions ask friends that will be going there you're going for a cocktail party you don't know what to wear ask questions and dress appropriately to everywhere you are going to my next style guide for you is to make sure you have a good tailor so i've talked about making sure you're not buying fake designers and dressing appropriately but the thing is that sometimes you buy stuff off the rack it could even be a designer item and sometimes it just still looks very off on you i once got my husband a jacket it was a nice sports coat the quality the feel of it it was beautiful but when it came i realized that it wasn't working for his shoulders his shoulders are not high up there his shoulders are kind of dropping and so every time he has to wear a jacket i make sure that it's a little bit padded so what i did was i took that jacket to a tailor to fix a bit of shoulder pad to lift his shoulders in that jacket so have a good tailor you may need to amend something that you have bought that is really expensive really nice well tailored and just amend it to suit your body even further also if you cannot afford all these brands and whatnot if you have a good tailor trust me no one is going to know there are tailors that make really nice shirts trousers suits i've also made a suit for my husband from a tailor and he did it so well all right so here we we are beginning to have the very complex made to measure process there are some male dress makers that go into the really in-depth made to measure process here in lagos and in other places but if you have a tailor that sews your native wear properly have you noticed that in this side of the world our native wear when men wear native wear they look so good because it was tailored to their body type that brings me back to my first point it was tailored to their body type you can do the same for your english wear you can do the same for your short sleeve shirt your long sleeve shirt your trousers your jackets waistcoats i'm serious guys you just need to do your findings get a very good tailor i've gotten tailors for my clients and they've gotten suits tailor made to them and they've come back to ask again that can i get another set of whatever suit and this because we have very good tailors in nigeria that is one thing that i'm sure of, especially men for men's wear we have really good tailors in fact we have people that now make yoga sets casual wear so take advantage get a good tailor that can amend whatever it is that you bought off the rack to suit your body type or make things for you from the scratch if you are on a budget okay this does not mean that when you hire tailors they are cheap or whatever but if you're on a budget you can get a good tailor that can make really nice things for you from scratch bumper jackets like je name it jeans jackets you just want to explore and you will be blown away never underestimate having a good tailor this year because they always come in and they trust me they always come in and they okay <laughs> my next guide for you is to go in store to shop clothes so this is very similar to getting a good tailor but this time around i see that many people where they even start getting scammed when i talked about the fake designers is because you are doing online shopping and online shopping is not bad at all if you don't have the time definitely get a personal shopper that can help you do your shopping and bring it to you wherever you are you can try them on we can take them back if that's something you don't know i do i do that okay and we can get you an appointment we can get a stylist or someone shopping assistant come into your house make you try on the things that you have picked and return the things that you don't want that is also something that i'm able to do but if you're starting out you have a tight budget you want to look your best you don't know where to look online you're tired of being scammed or duped go in store in store can be whether you are going to the market whether you are going to a thrift store or what we call okrika i think in okrika you can't try those things on but go to a place where you can try on your items as you have bought them like right off the rack and they have a changing room you can try it on you can see whether it works you can drop it because if you are just shopping online they would convince you that it's your size all right or when you're shopping online have your own measurement so that you can send it to people that are ready to wear and it is your measurement so that they make it to suit your body type but it's very good to shop in store if you are unsure and if you are also in places where you're outside of the country you can get freestyle advice from shopping in store trying on things they'll give you options you can look at a full outfit a shirt a trouser a pair of shoes whatever it is in store and you can 
see it for yourself how it comes together that's literally like a personal styling service that comes at no charge because you have gone in store to buy a few items so try that this year explore shopping in store and trying on items before settling for them because that's one thing i see men do all the time my husband has done it a couple of times he just buys things online or he buys things from someone that is advertising to him and you have not checked whether this thing is going to fit you you don't know whether it works for you you have never tried it before you are just trying to be a good man and you are just patronizing everybody you need to caution yourself this year and you know don't be afraid i think that's the other thing that men don't like to do to try on clothes because of whatever reason you know just go in store ask questions try on clothes and you are good to go and if you really think you need help you need someone to be there to hold your hand i'm also your girl Get my personal styling service, Shop and Style. There's something called Shop and Style. I have a Shop and Style service. You can get it. We can go in store together. I can advise you. I can tell you what to pick, what not to pick right there and then. And you will be good to go. Another guide that would really cement your styling this year and going forward wherever you are in your style journey is to pay attention to your skin. Okay? Your air. Mm-hmm. And finishing touches so basically your style is literally what you look like from head to toe trust me if your dressing is on point or your skin is not given like the Jesus would say or your shoes are not properly laced or polished or your shirt is rumpled or your breath smells or you your armpit or something smells trust me it doesn't matter how much what you're wearing is it would have marred your entire effort to look good so you have to take care of your skin this year i'm going to make a confession i don't have a skincare routine my husband tries but this year we have decided to actually jump on a skincare routine together and that's something i think every man should do because there's something about when men's skin starts popping you just start looking rich <laughs> you know and then you wear a basic white shirt and you're looking like you wore something very extravagant okay so pay attention to your skin your your face your air your beard the way you smell how you talk in your shirts wearing the appropriate belts and shoes to match and accessories accessorizing properly you know matching the colors of your accessories to align with what you are wearing all these little things can really set you apart to being stylish wherever you are in your style journey whether you're starting out whether you are trying to elevate whether you are trying to reveal vamp your style for the new image you're trying to project after being promoted or starting your own company these little things can just make you shine so i want you to pay attention to that this year okay finishing touches ironing your clothes tying your shoelace properly accessorizing sufficiently you're not overdoing it smelling good you know just combing your hair it's so simple brushing your beard going for a haircut when you are due for one these little things can make or mar your entire personal style so it's simple really very simple whatever level you want to go with your skincare products that's on you or the your perfume collection that's on you but every time just consider that i want to look good and feel good that is the essence of taking your personal style journey seriously Seriously, to be honest you want to look good and you want to feel good and these finishing touches can do just that for you my last guide for you is to always ask for help I touched on it quickly in one of the points I was making but I want to emphasize it here that the same way you ask for help when you don't know how to solve like a, a banking issue an investment something you're trying to get into um, you are trying to do all these really tech things for men that are kind of complex complicated and it's not difficult for you to ask your colleagues is the same way you should be able to ask for help when it comes to your style and honestly it is just a call away just a call away just a message away by tapping the link in my bio sending me a dm on any of my social media platforms you know book a 40 minutes consultation if that's too much i have a complimentary 15 minutes consultation that many of you have not taken advantage of it is free it's literally there what do you think faith i'm going for this what do you think all right and if we have to sit down because it is not a 15 minutes talk then i tell you okay take the 40 minutes um, consultation 
and let us talk let's talk about how you can look your best at every point in time because that's what i'm here for i'm here to simplify style for every man looking to start or elevate their personal style this year don't be shy to ask for guidance on where to shop how to shop how to combine outfits together to look like you you really know what you are doing because trust me not everybody is born stylish or fashionable or will ever get a grasp of their style and that is why we have experts like myself that are into this it's the same way not everyone will understand crypto or understand investment portfolios and that's why you have those experts there so this year what i wanted to concentrate on is how can i do better with my personal style how can i look the part how can i you know you are this and this in your head but how can you look like that on the outside without you having to introduce yourself all the time because you are literally addressed the way you are dressed that is not going to change any time from now so i want you to take seeking guidance regarding your personal style seriously because it's going to set you up for life and the truth is that if you actually take the time to invest in your personal style you won't always need a stylist you will just become the go-to guy that all your friends are also calling like oh b what do you think i can wear oh what do you understand so you it is an investment for yourself that will yield immeasurable return to be honest so seek guidance this year you can seek guidance through my social media platforms i'm on x that is twitter at cbh men styling i'm on instagram at cys beauty house i'm on linkedin faith olato boston i'm just the email away to beauty house at gmail.com all links to my platforms are in the about me section of this channel or wherever you're watching and they are also on your screen and i hope you have found this helpful a little recap on the ultimate guide you need to owning your personal style in year 2024 is number one make sure you're dressing for your physique type that's your body type and your style personality make sure you are saying no to fake designers try your best to buy what you can afford don't do fakes it's just it's, it's very tacky make sure that you are dressing appropriately you dress age appropriately weather appropriately occasion appropriately just make sure you are dressed appropriately for all occasions every weather and every event also make sure that you are going in store to shop if you are not conversant with shopping online also to avoid getting scammed as well get a good tailor because this will always come in handy at every point in time in your personal style journey get inspirations from only those that have your physique type or your style personality and all your skin tone as well make sure you are taking care of your hair your skin your grooming and you are taking notes of finishing touches that can make you look the part and tie your outfit together nicely don't also forget to iron your clothes as part of finishing touches and finally always seek guidance every single time you need one i hope you found this video helpful if you have please share with a man around you and if you're new here please don't leave without subscribing to this channel turning on post notifications so that every time a video drops you are the first to know and you can watch and also you can book my services using the link on your screen right now it is also in the about me section of this page thank you so much for watching this video i want you to make sure that this year you are not green yes <laughs> no grief for anybody including yourself in making sure that your style that one you imagine in your head actually comes out avoid the things that you really want to avoid things that don't make you shine things that don't make you feel comfortable things that don't make you confident as well make sure you are dressing in only things that are looking confident on you and are making you shine making you comfortable making you love style because trust me every man can be stylish if they put their hearts to it till i come your way again it's bye for now